good afternoon students so today in language lab class we will discuss discuss about uh, preposition preposition is one of the parts of speech you know and there are a lot of uses in preposition you may get some uh, mcq on preposition in a competitive exam uh, or uh, like when you are writing something writing a letter anything all the time you need preposition so so you need to know that uh, what is the right preposition for which place so today we will discuss that am i audible student okay so i want to ask you do you have any idea about preposition so what is preposition prepositions actually indicates the relationship between other words in a sentence many prepositions tell you where something is or when something happened most prepositions have several definitions so the meaning changes quite a bit in different context ending a sentence with preposition is not a grammatical error so these are some common factors about preposition let me explain <clears throat> prepositions indicate relationship between other words like what are the example of preposition some common preposition are at on of from this so what what does the uh, preposition do they indicate some relationship like i am writing one sentence the cat is sitting dash a table now if i ask you to choose from this preposition you uh, you will choose the cat is sitting on the table so here if we don't put on if we uh, just write the cat is sitting at table this sentence has no meaning right the cat is sitting at table so you have to put something between sitting and a so preposition is indicate relationship between the अदर वर्ड्स सो अगर ये हम हिंदी में बोलेंगे तो हम क्या बोलेंगे टेबल के ऊपर कैट है तो यू हैव टू थिंक इन योर मदर लैंग्वेज यू यू कैन लाइक बंगाली में भी दिस इज सेम आई डोंट नो देयर इज एनी बंगाली और नॉट अदरवाइज आई आई वुड हैव एक्सप्लेन सो दिस फर्स्ट पॉइंट आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन many prepositions tell you where something is or when something happened what is the main job of preposition they tell where is something like the place so if i ask where is the cat your your answer will be the cat is sitting on a table so the main job of preposition is to tell you where something is or when something happened so i will give you one example for when like i will meet you on monday so if i ask when i will meet you the answer will be i will meet you on monday is it clear student are you listening is it clear okay 
So most prepositions have several definitions. So the meaning changes quite a bit in different contexts. Ending a sentence with a preposition is not a grammatical error. So if you end a sentence with preposition, that's also not grammatical error. So we'll give you some examples. So are these points clear to you? What is a preposition? Now there are some lines. Vampire, zombies, barrels, where? Behind you. Thank goodness for preposition. Imagine not knowing where the teacher lay. It's just fun. So if you ask that, uh, where are the ghosts, vampires, zombies? So I will answer you behind you. So you know that where is the danger. So if, if preposition will not exist, so you would not uh, understood that like uh, where the concept of where uh, completely depends upon preposition. So like uh, parts of speech, I told you when we are discussing parts of speech, every word uh, discuss, every word has different uh, like uh, different action, different action they play. So preposition tells us this, where and when. Because uh, when monsters are approaching, it's good to have this special words to tell us where those monsters are. Are they behind us or in front of us? Will they be arriving in three seconds? Oh, yes, midnight. So this is totally fun. But you, uh, you can uh, observe that all these are prepositions written in bold letters behind, in front, in, at. So behind and in front tells us about where and in and at tells us about when. Sometimes in and at also tells, uh, tells about uh, where. So prepositions often tell us where one noun is in relation to another. Example, the coffee is on the table beside you. But they can also indicate more abstract ideas such as purpose or contrast. Prepositions often tell us where one noun is in relation to another. So this is the example. The coffee is on the table beside you. And but they can also indicate more abstract ideas like we went for a walk despite rain. So these are also. Now types of preposition. Prepositions indicate direction, time, location, and spatial relationships, as well as other abstract types of relationships. Like direction, look to the left and you will see our destination. Uh, when it is indicating time, we have been walking since the morning. Location, we saw a movie at the theater space. The dog hid under the table. So there are different kind of uh, propositions which uh, we can see like look to the left and you will see your destination. We have been walking since we saw a movie at the theater. So these are also preposition and telling about different things, direction, time, location, space. The preposition example. Unfortunately, there is no uh, reliable formula for determining which preposition to use in a particular combination of words. 
this is not any uh, question of formula. You have to understand. You have to practice. Then you can understand. The best way to learn which preposition go with which is to read as much uh, high quality writing as you can and pay attention to which combination sound right. So practice is everything. Here are a few examples of the most common preposition used in sentence. Like I should rewrite the introduction of my essay. So here in the first sentence, if I ask you, what kind of preposition you can see here? So this is the preposition of. So if I ask you when, you cannot answer. If I ask you where, you cannot answer. But if I ask you what, what you, you are writing about, read, uh, what you should rewrite, then you answer the introduction of my essay. So like this preposition is not telling about any direction, place or anything. Sam left his jacket in the car. Where did Sam left his jacket? In the car. Did you send the letter to your mother? To whom? If I ask you to whom, you will answer me to your mother. We are cooking for 10 guests tonight. Cooking for. Cooking for uh, how many guests? So 10 guests. So all of these, uh, like, most of the answers are not related to where and when. Uh, these are like different question and different answer. Then ate lunch with his boss. To whom did he eat his lunch? With his boss. So this is also different. Ending a sentence with a preposition. Now the old claim that it's wrong to end a sentence with a preposition. And has been utterly debunked. So it's not true and it's, it is never true. So writers who always insist that a preposition can't end a sentence uh, often end up with stilled and unnatural sentences. So like, there is no one else to hide behind. This sentence, what, what is the preposition here? Behind. This sentence is ending a preposition. And it's not wrong. Next, there is no one else behind whom to hide. So if you like uh, aim, do not, if you, if you don't aim. There's no sentence. one else behind. Hello? Hello? So if you do not uh, do not want to end the sentence with a preposition, so you can, uh, if you want to put in the middle, see there is no meaning, like there is no one else behind whom to hide. So you have to put it at the end only. The next one is, where did you come from? If you write from where did you come, 
it is grammatically correct but it's unnatural so you have to write where did you come from so you can note down this two uh, example where you are ending a sentence with a preposition okay anybody was talking anything that said it is sometimes more elegant to move a, move a preposition to an earlier spot in a sentence especially in very serious and formal writing but if you do move the preposition remember to delete it from the end it is sometimes uh, more elegant to move a preposition to an earlier spot in a sentence especially in a very serious or formal writing but if you do move the preposition and okay you have to remember to delete it from the end there is something we must meditate on this is correct but if you write this is something on which we must meditate it's not correct this is something on which we must meditate on you can write like this also unnecessary preposition so what is unnecessary preposition one of the most common preposition mistake is adding an unnecessary at to the end of a question where is your brother at so sometimes we ask a question like uh, where is your brother where is your like to ask like this you don't need to put at at last although this is common in some english dialects it's considered an error in writing you can fix the problem by simply deleting the at so the correct answer will be where is your brother you don't no need to put at at last so please remember this that do not put at at the last this is wrong but this is right where is your brother okay. now there are different kind of preposition again so most of the preposition or many uses there are some preposition which are common in every type of preposition like simple double compound participle disguise details preposition of time preposition of place and direction preposition of agents or or things and phrasal preposition okay so this is a most popular preposition you can see and but at to on in If there is one uh, wrong, please do not follow. End is not a preposition; it is conjunction. This is wrong. But is also conjunction. But is not preposition. So add to, on, in, for, of, up, of, from, out. 
squeeze during down below beside over by near all these are preposition now uh, double preposition so what is double preposition you can assume by the name that two simple prepositions joining together to form one which connects the noun or pronoun to the rest the words in a sentence example are you out of your mind i was allowed the inside of the temple she is sandwiched in between two of her cousins so you can see out of inside of in between the two prepositions joining together so this is called double preposition so you have to use two preposition together only uh, in some of the sentences because this is the rule you cannot write are you out your mind so there there will be no meaning so you have to write are you out of your mind i was allowed the inside of the temple so you cannot write i was allowed the inside the temple she is sandwiched in two of her cousins so every uh, like situation is necessary where you have to use two preposition together so this is double preposition compound preposition compound prepositions are composed of prepositions as well as other words compound prepositions are really confused with double prepositions since they both require uh, other prepositions or words to help with acting like a preposition so what is compound preposition it's sometimes you can confuse it with double preposition this compound in means two so like according to my calculations this color should uh, should work just fine so this is compound preposition the two prepositions are working together next i started for home with the view to celebrate eid now in this sentence with two two prepositions but they are at a uh, different place not together on behalf of this is also compound preposition on behalf of our family my father attended the family reunion so these are examples of compound preposition so these are some past, present participle preposition and past participle preposition so present participle preposition means where we are using i ing and past participle preposition means where we are using ed like so what are the present participle preposition assuming barring considering during not not withstanding regarding and past participle sir respected given gone provided provided it sorry provided and taken what is disguised preposition this prepositions are usually disguised as some other element so like often this prepositions are disguised as a and o so i wake up at 5 o'clock so it 
means of the clock. So we do not write the whole thing. We usually write o clock. So this is the disguised preposition. Keep striding ahead. Ahead means on the head. Hope went ashore. So here A means on shore. Rimi visits the river bank once a day. Once a day means in a day. So these are all disguised preposition. Now what is preposition of time? It's very easy. Preposition of time should the relationship between time between the nouns and other parts. So these are the preposition of time like on, at, in, from, to, for, since, ago, before, this. We started working at 10 a.m. The company called meeting on 25th October. There is a holiday in December. He has been ill since Monday. So these are all preposition of time because all of this indicating some time like when is the uh, when did he start working? When was the meeting? When is the holiday? And from when he is ill. So these are preposition of time. Like these are preposition of place and direction, like on, at, in, by, from, to, these are. See the example. So we have discussed preposition of place and direction, preposition of time, detached preposition. Detached preposition is a preposition that is that has been detached and sent to the very end of the sentence. So you can say that the before like ending sentence with preposition, what we have discussed. Like where are you coming from? Is that the neighborhood you are headed to? I won't tolerate being screamed at. So these are detached preposition. So these are uh, there are some other section of prepositions which we will discuss next day. Anybody has any query till this one? Sandhya. Vikram. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Hmm? Yes. Uh, do you have any query, Vikram? Did you understand? Uh, yeah, I understand. No? Yeah. 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 Okay, so we will conclude our session here and we will again meet next day. Okay, thank you.